Hey, welcome to a quick video. I'm um, just going to go through all the steps on how to get a um, template from the store and put it onto your um, website. Um, so the template we're going to do today is the carpentry one. So we're just going to um, pay for this and download it, and then we're going to take the files and put them on the on your website. So once you've uh, downloaded your zip file and extracted it, um, this is what you'll have inside. So you'll get all the images that are in the um, template. You get the PDF, which has all the bits of code and stuff that you need, and the actual template that's itself, this TCO file. Um, so first thing that I normally do, so is you just open the PDF. And what we're going to do is we'll just go through this. So at the start, you've got your CSS code. Um, that's what makes the whole template look nice. And uh, any JavaScript, which there isn't for this template. Um, and then contact form 7. So, um, so the, all the contact forms on that template. So in this one, we've got two. So we've got the newsletter at the bottom. And we've got the uh, request a quote. So the first thing to do is to um, just go to um, your contact form. So if you haven't um, got contact form 7 plugin added in, just go to plugins, add new, and search for that and download that. It's a free plugin. Um, so you just want to add a new contact form. And we're just going to put the two new um, the newsletter and the quote form in there. So this is what you'll see when you see when you get a uh, a new contact form. So um, it's literally just a copy and paste job. So the newsletter. So I'll just copy that. I'm just going to put that in. And example, so I know to remove it. And then we just want to copy this, which is the actual um, code for the form. So we can just remove all of that and just paste in everything that it's got there. And we just want to go to the mail tab. Um, and we just want to change to like your email. From, and then from um, is here. So we've just got, it just gives you like the email address. So you can just put that there. And then you might want to put um, news, newsletter sign up as the name so this will appear as the name and then it'll go to as, and that'll be the email address subject um, um, that works again um, the additional headers we generally just want to leave that as it is so this means it will reply to the email that you get from and then the message body um, just down here, so I mean, you can just copy and paste that, but feel free to put whatever you want in there. So, just copy and paste that for ease of use. Um, that's it. So, um, save that one. Okay, so now that's saved, um, I'm just gonna add in quickly the, um, the quote form. So, just grab that. That's Example. Um, so it's just all this code in here. Place that in there, and then the mail setting. Uh, your email again. Um, the form is. And you've got more details here, so the form can be your name and your email. Um, subject subject is um, additional 
I'll uh, we'll leave that and then you can copy and paste the message in there. Um, obviously, feel free to change that and then save those. Okay, so uh, next bit is to just add in the template. So you want to go to, um, you'll either have Pro or X, um, just highlight that and then go to template. Yeah, we're going to leave that page. Okay, so once that's loaded, um, we'll just open up the file um, which has all the bits in. Um, TCO file, we can just drag into this template bit. And it's just going to upload that. Here's where you'll have all of your other templates. And once that's loaded, awesome. That's cool. Might be in there now. Yep, there at the bottom. So all good there. Um, now we want to go um, back to the dashboard. And we just want to go to pages and then add a new page. Um, we're just going to do the. Um, I've got Gutenberg installed on here, so that's why it might look a bit different for you. Um, and so I'm just going to put. Um, and then what we want to do, this is very important. So the default template is blank, no container, header, and footer, so that you get your menus and your footers, and then there's nothing else in between. Um, I'm not going to do with a parent page here, so that's done. We can just publish that and then just play publish again. So now that's done, and um, now we just want to edit it with um, Cornerstone. Um, I've got an extra plugin um, which I'll put the link to, which is the edit with Cornerstone. So we can just refresh this page. And we get our edit with cornerstone button back because Gutenberg got rid of that nicely. So we can just edit that straight away now. Okay, so yep, we've got the um, just a blank page here. If you are just going to use this template um, or one of the landing page templates, then um, you don't have to use the, you can change the, um, the page template to blank. Um, you can do no, uh, no container, no header, no footer. Then you literally just have um, a completely blank slate to do that for. But I'm going to leave the header and footer in this one. Um, and yep, yeah, we just want to load the template. So it's just the one that we've got here. So we insert that, and then we just wait for it to do all its magic stuff. So in the template, it will load in all those pictures for you, but um, I give them in the download just in case you want to use them, um, and they're all royalty free, so feel free to do that. So here we go, uh, and what you'll see is, um, so like the nice big buttons, uh, which are my default ones, um, and then be your default theme ones, so it doesn't look perfect straight away. And we've got some uh, issues with text color there and everything. Um, don't worry too much about that. So we can. What we want to do now is grab the CSS from the um, PDF, just grab all that, okay, and then copy that, and then back here, and then in this nice, well we don't need that anymore, in the CSS bit, we can just paste all of that in, and then it will make all the nice buttons and all the transitions 
um, much much bigger and put all the text back in and it all looks all much much nicer now <clears throat> um, so the last little bit um, I think because I've already put this template in we get the contact forms in um, but what you might get is um, you might get a blank space there or this will have something which um, doesn't it doesn't find the contact form um, if you find that you've got a blank space and you can't select the contact form a uh, little tip is um, go to here which is the wireframe view and now as you see if I roll over these on the um, in this bit you can see it highlights the bits that I'm rolling over so you can sort of find out where you are if you just look carefully so this bit is all the text that no job too big that classic custom headline and then you've got this contact form 7 so <clears throat> there's a little bit of a bug um, when you put the templates in so if you need to if you can't click on the contact form 7 to edit to the one that you just created go into this view find where it is and then just delete it from here that's fine to do and then we can go back into this bit and then we'll just have a gap there so we can just go to element contact form 7 grab that in there drag it across and pop that in and it will just put the um, standard one in and now we've got the options so we've got the quote example there and that will just populate and it's all going to be nicely formatted as it should be um, and we've got the newsletter one so if that wasn't down there um, you would again sc scroll to where it is do this wireframe mode uh, scroll down to where it is and then you can see when I roll over here it highlights on the bottom right here so I can make sure that I'm getting that contact form 7 so I can delete that um, yes and then I can go back to here elements again contact form 7 and I can just drag it in a tiny gap there to make sure that goes in and then it's the news for example that's the one that we saved and then it's all nicely styled in that cool and then we can save that and that's our that's our page done um if you can click this button just to go and see it and it's just going to load up and there we go and that's your template ready to go what you need to do now is um, just go in uh, and change the um, testimonials obviously um, put some something that actually makes some sense into this bit you can change those headlines um, and then add in your services and links these just work as uh, normal buttons so you just put your links in there um, and that's it for adding in one of the templates. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Any questions, give us a shout.